Hey guys, my name is Jeremy with TheWarriorSolution.com. In this video, we're checking out the Solomon X Ultra Winter Boot. This video is not sponsored by Solomon or any other companies. I purchased the boots myself, and this video is just my own personal opinion on the boots. Solomon is known for its great hiking boots and winter sports products. The Solomon X Ultra Winter 2 boots are an insulated version of their very popular X Ultra line. It also features a winter-specific Contra Grip sole. They are advertised as having the comfort of a running shoe while providing insulation and waterproofing specifically for freezing, snowy adventures. I agree with that statement completely. The boots are made of full-grain leather with a faux fur liner that is very soft and comfortable. The boots are also waterproof thanks to the Clima Solomon liner. They do a great job of keeping out snow, mud, and other junk. The tongue is gusseted, which means it's attached to the rest of the boot in a way that provides plenty of room for getting the boots on, as well as providing a shield for keeping water out. The lacing is traditional boot style with a locking eyelet between the forefoot and ankle, so you can adjust the tightness of both independently from the other. An example of why you might want the boot tighter around your foot and not so tight around your ankle would be if you're doing a lot of vertical climbing or descending. The locking eyelets do a great job of keeping the boot secure and stable. I didn't have any issues at all with blisters or hot spots at any point during my testing. The warmth of the boots is provided mainly by 200 grams of 3M Thinsulate that keeps your feet nice and warm in below freezing temperatures. The lowest temps I've encountered with the boots so far is around 25 degrees Fahrenheit. I found that if I'm active and wearing wool hiking socks, my feet did not get cold at all. If I stood still in the snow for an extended period of time, my feet would start to get slightly cold, but nothing crazy or unbearable at all. 200 grams of insulation is on the lighter end of the spectrum as far as winter boots go. So if you're in a climate with below zero temperatures, you're probably going to want something with more insulation. One thing that I've seen a few times from other reviews is that people have complained that the boots tend to run a little more narrow than expected. I wear a size 10 and a half and my feet are pretty wide, but I found the boots to fit me just fine. Let's talk about traction. The soles of the boots are made with Solomon's Contra Grip Winter Rubber. Uh, apparently that translates into the rubber maintaining its flexibility and overall stability in freezing temperatures where traditional boot sole rubber would start to freeze and become stiff. I walked roughly 10 miles over several days in a mix of deep snow and packed snow during this review process, and I did not have any issues with the boots becoming stiff or too cold. Solomon also boasts that the Contra Grip sole provides better traction and stability in snow and ice than other boots. I agree with the snow traction completely. I haven't had any issues at all with deep, freshly fallen snow or packed snow, mud, or general wear on dirt. Ice, on the other hand, is a different story. There were several times I slipped on ice in one time where I actually fell directly on my camera bag after slipping on black ice on a slight incline. I'm not saying the boot traction is useless or anything like that, just don't expect to be doing sprints on a frozen lake. If you need traction specifically on ice, you should be looking into micro spikes, not rubber. The boots have a metal D-ring at the front for attaching gaiters, as well as a small ledge on the heel to help keep snowshoes or micro spikes attached to the boots. To sum it all up, I'm loving the Solomon X Ultra Winter 2 boots. They're a great option for winter adventures because they're the lightest boot I've ever worn, and they are super comfortable and warm. The insulation is perfect for my climate, and I don't have any regrets at all about buying these boots. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to follow, and make sure you follow the Warrior Solution on Full30.com as well. The inevitable shutdown of the YouTube Pew Pew channels is imminent, and everything that I'm uploading here, I'll also be uploading on Full30. So when the apocalypse comes, you can find me at Full30.com. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next video.